I'm gathering up bits and pieces so I can try to make a calliope that was a construction article in popular mechanics back in the 80s. One item I need for the control valves for each pipe in the calliope is a good quality hinge. And in today's market, that seems to be fairly difficult to find. I had purchased some of these on eBay and different places, and they were very bad quality flimsy, and you could hardly open and close them. These are a national hardware product. They're better. I need quite a few of these, and less than half of them will operate freely. This hinge needs to be very loose, and you need to be able to move it like this. I could buy more packets of these and have about a half of them usable. And when I say usable, you can hardly bend this. It's way too stiff. So I made this contraption and I chose to use two aluminum blocks and these are 440 screws that hold that hinge in place very firmly. When I attach the hinge on there, I can open this up and I can bend it this way which tends to open that hinge and then I can bend it side to side this way flex it a little bit I can open this and flex it a little bit this way and see if that helps open that up and it does mind you this has already been on the hinge exerciser for about a half an hour so between screwing this on here and bending around on this a little bit to try and free up that hinge, then I put it on the exerciser, applied 800 grit oil based lapping compound, then I operate it in this range, I operate it in this range, I operate it in this range, and then that hinge will be usable. So I've taken that off and now this is not quite as free as I would like. It's not too bad in this range right here. I'm going to exercise a little more back here on this back side. This will be the area where it will be operating. I'm going to go ahead and free that up over here a little more. If for no other reason than I can. I can put this on the machine and give this thing several thousand cycles in an hour and vary the position that it's operating in and these should operate just as freely as the others. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time making this mechanism. I had a 48 RPM motor. It had a cooling fan on it. I had already made this drive hub for another project. It goes on here. There's a set screw locking on that flat. This goes in here. This attaches to here. And all that does is sandwich this hub. In fact, this hub will turn freely in here if it gets in a bind. So that's kind of like a clutch. There's a wood doll that's glued eccentric to the main shaft. And this piece fits in here. Now I can adjust this for whatever throw I want. This gives me very little deflection. This gives me maximum deflection. And I've been running about here. Then there's a screw and a washer that lock that in place. And now that won't turn. So between this eccentric adjustment and this adjustment on the connecting rod, I have a clevis back here. That's on a threaded shaft. There is some adjustment here to this ball socket joint. I tend to leave this alone because these fittings, after they've been heated up to be soldered, oftentimes this is very soft and it can break pretty easy. 
There's a control horn from a model airplane like what you would use on an elevator or aileron or rudder. And two aluminum blocks that I drilled and tapped 440 to hold the hinge. I chose not to do this using wood because I'm going to be bending and twisting on this to try and loosen up these hinges and that would break out of a piece of wood pretty easy. I wanted something smaller than these that would fit the hinge properly and I couldn't find any. This is a 440 flathead screw and it allows that hinge to close enough. In operation this hinge will be working at about that deflection. This may look like a lot of work. The fact that I already had the aluminum drive hub made and I had these bits and pieces readily available from crashed airplanes. None of this is new hardware. To make this whole thing was probably three hours. And the fact that I can do 480 cycles on a hinge in 10 minutes, I'm sure as heck not going to do that by hand. I don't know why these hinges are tight. Possibly these plates are not exactly flat. These could be over crimped. That rod that goes through there might have a burr on it or may not have been absolutely straight when it was put in here. I know that this is my third set of hinges and these are the best ones I've come up with. And I'm tired of ordering hinges and sending them back again. So I'm going to go with these. We just need to loosen them up. Since this is not firmly attached to that, if this gets in a bind, that will slip 